They come through the wall? Yes. Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Sunday. Hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, we just had these are Guatemalans, right? Yeah, we just had three Guatemalans uh, come through the wall uh, As you can see where 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 the wall is, but don't be deceived the wall works. It's just that we uh, We got people who like to sneak around the corner where the wall doesn't work way down there And so you know typically Sunday mornings are usually pretty slow because we have our big flux of traffic at night But uh, we of course we're doing the 24 7 shift here so uh, our man on point, Chen, he happened to uh, see these guys come through. And so I figured I'd at least get you guys a video so you could see uh, what we had going on here this morning. And uh, this is it. They're still, they're still uh, coming in all times of day, even with the, uh, even with the Mexico uh, police officer sitting over there. It doesn't seem to matter. They're going to find a way in either way. So... You know, again, it takes it takes about two hours a person for Border Patrol to process these guys. So even a small group like this, probably talking about four hours that he's the processing guy is going to be gone off the front line. And, uh, of course, when that happens, that's just one less person securing the border from the real issues. Um, so, anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, hi, Denise. Hey, Robert. Hey, James. David. Myron. Thanks for following us. Thanks for <clears throat> sharing these videos. I know you guys are doing a good job because I see the views going up. Um, uh, some of the people have been texting and asking uh, how they can help other ways than just uh, coming down to volunteer. Um, one of the things that we are really, really in need of is uh, ATVs. And uh, if anybody know somebody down here or something like that uh, we need to get ourselves some ATVs um, if you look behind me over here I'll show you this hill on the other side of that hill there's a huge landfill over there and one of the things that uh, we are uh, working on is uh, being able to assist over there because over there we have a lot of runners and single people fugitives stuff like that and uh, it, may, it, it really makes a big difference when you're able to have people on the ground that can move a little quicker. So anyway, just food for thought. Um, other than that, things are going good down here today. Everybody's getting rested up because this is, seems to be the Sunday, the Sunday rush night. So we're going to go back over on the other side. We're going to get Viper up on the hill, get him positioned. And, uh, and then we're going to watch the ground. And uh, I know that the hotels in Juarez right now are extremely packed with illegal immigrants trying to get over here. And we haven't had a lot of the regular uh, Brazilian crowd that we typically see. So at some point, these Br the Brazilians are going to have to, uh, they're going to have to do their thing. So uh, anyway, this is Jim. I hope everybody has a good day. United Constitutional Patriots, New Mexico Border Ops. You guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.